guys welcome back to my channel how you guys doing i hope you guys having a blessed wonderful day i have to get ready in less than an hour i want to do a quick little transformation and show you guys what reality really looks like because honestly i have been looking my worst i've just been not feeling the best but in today's video i wanted to show you guys my quick everyday makeup and yeah let's get started to do like a chit chat get ready type of situation i haven't done that in such a long time and i'm just the type of person that likes to talk and likes to update people like i'm just that type of person you know so anyways i look so crazy we need to fix that but i just wanted to show you guys what i've been doing to prep my skin i think i finally finally figured out what it's like the best cocktail for my skin because honestly my makeup lasts all day and prepping your skin is so important i'm actually gonna do something really cute that i've never done before and it's put this on i love this even though i barely use it it's just it's too much my hair is just thriving right now. Not really. That's a, that's a joke. Okay. It's a joke. If you're here to make fun of me, that's okay. <laughs> I'm making fun of myself. <coughs> Can we please behave here? Thank you. We're actually on camera and you're making me look bad let me know if this is not the look for me and i won't use it again <laughs> but how's everyone this is an actual makeup tutorial okay um i'm gonna start by using a type of serum whatever serum you have is perfect to wear under your makeup just because it's gonna smooth it out and moisturize it well in my case mine does that and plumps up my skin so i like to use the buffet multi-technology peptide serum by the ordinary i'm almost running out of it i stopped using it because my skin was freaking out but other than that i've been doing amazing sweetie i've been using this technique to prep my skin for the past two weeks and it has been really working great for my skin i'm gonna keep you back i usually keep you guys in so you guys can see what i'm doing and what my skin looks like but i want this video to be as chill back as possible i want you guys to feel like you guys are my friends and we're catching up and we're doing a thing and we're like on facetime type of situation you know i just love watching those type of videos that i can relate to the person you know what shows have you guys been watching because honestly i have been obsessed with keeping up with the kardashians like honestly they're so hilarious i've been getting mad at most of them okay <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna take my Bye Bye Redness Sensitive Skin Moisturizer. I love it so much. It plumps up my skin and moisturizes it. It never like moves around my makeup, nothing. Like it just looks incredible. And I just went back to my roots. I was using this moisturizer for a very long time and my skin was thriving. Like it was really thriving. And then I started using different moisturizers. I started using different things. And that's when my skin started to panic because my skin and it's like what what's going on you know what i mean so i was like you know what let me ch chill out with the products because i was using every single product that boxycharm was sending to me but i was just trying everything under the book this is my favorite moisturizer of all all times i'm glad she's back and i also went back to an og favorite of mine this is the glassy touch and soul glassy skin balm and it's so good like i'm almost done with it touch and soul really does make one of the best primers in the market like not one little primer that i have tried from them has done me dirty like honestly this combo right here that i'm doing works with every type of foundation that i own and my skin just looks glowy bitch like it looks glowy i love that product so much i don't know why i stopped using it and then for my pore blums see what i did there i use the elf luminous booty primer it gives me that luminosity by also feeling in my pores and smoothing out the skin yo i have this problem as well like with picking my face i don't know what the problem is but i just bro i really every time i see a pimple i'm like if that's you let me know because is the worst habit you can ever have because your skin is never gonna thrive if you're picking on it so now i'm gonna move on into my eyebrows i recently started doing them a little bit different so they look a little bit more bushier and natural i like to take my 
what is this called i like to take my brow gel <laughs> forgot what a brow gel was this is by benefit and i go and i push all of my little hairs upwards i'll fix it in a little bit do not worry this is my favorite brow for sure this brow is always like so disrespectful i'm gonna take the triple fudge shade on the chocolate bar palette and i'm gonna fill in my eyebrows Let's go. Do you guys want me to like put you in closer? I don't know if you guys like that, but I just don't want to get you too close so you don't get scared. You know what I mean? Okay, so after you have that, I'm gonna start filling them in at the bottom. This powder is super pigmented, so I just like to do the shape since my eyebrows are pretty shapeless. And I'm gonna start flicking the brush. I'm using this little brush. I don't even know where I got it from. Okay, so this is the Lavish Brow Groomer. All right, so after I've done that, they look pretty imperfect, but I've been liking that look a lot. I'm gonna take my brow gel one more time and just go over. Like, literally, my brows do not move, budge, nothing. Let's move on into the complexion. So I've been really loving the pretty fresh hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer. This is for every day type of situation. And I really, really vibe with that i really like it so it's very very light in coverage but it gives you that pretty all over glow then i take the pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer and i pretty much like to apply it on my imperfections and just let it dry for a couple of minutes just because i've seen that when you wait for your concealer to dry it just looks better it gives you a little bit more coverage and your concealer stays where you applied it so that's what i want and i've always 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 like to mix my concealers so i've been mixing it with the tarte shape tape i know this is very full coverage for every day but i only apply the tiniest little bit only put it in once <laughs> that's what she said I'm very into cream bronzing lately, and I'm using the NARS stick. This is the Sculpting Multi Duo Contour Stick, and this is in the shade Laguna. And I'm using a brush, I don't know where this brush is from, but I'm using a little angle brush like this. So I take it and I go like this, and it looks so natural, I look so bronze. Before I used to go right on with it, but it's just, it's not cute when you do that. Going in with a brush, it's just so easy, it blends out like nothing. Thing. I really really love it. I don't know why it took me so long to get into cream contouring and cream bronzing Is where is that you guys is really where it's at cream everything. I start blending it upwards Always upwards never downwards. I do it very very messily and I can get this makeup look done within five to ten minutes and now that my you know concealer has dried I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna go right in like that I'm not scared anymore to use this, you guys. Who am I? And I go and blend out the concealer and blend out the contour at the same time. This is literally tea. Look at that. It's like gone. It makes my life so easy. Zero stress, you guys. Zero stress. I've only been setting my under eyes. So this is a Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 10. And I like to tap it into the skin. So that way that does not move, does not budge nothing so now i'm gonna be using the contouring palette by wet and wild this is in the shade dulce de leche i really have been loving it i hit pan on both sides as you guys can see and i just take an angle brush this is by it cosmetics and i just like to tap the bronzer and set that cream bronzer i blend it down to the neck because i'm very very pale at the moment i can't wait to go on vacation by the way i'm going on a little cute trip for my birthday i'm an April baby. Literally the last day of April is my birthday. I am a Taurus, if you guys are wondering. <laughs> I tell everybody that. I don't know why. But if you're a Taurus, I automatically love you. Tauruses are my shit. My boyfriend is a Taurus, you know? Anyways, <laughs> like I was saying, we're going to... <laughs> no surprise there but we're going to miami again for the third year in a row like what is our problem well last year we went to we were supposed to go on a cruise and that canceled because of the whole panoramic situation we're in we're still in but it's getting better you know with the vaccine and whatever i'm not gonna get into that really but you know things have been changing and getting a little bit safer so i am hitting miami for my birthday and my boyfriend's birthday our birthdays are 20 days away which is crazy so we're celebrating both of our birthdays may 
mainly his because my friends are not coming it's all his friends but that's okay we're gonna have a good time and there's no beef it's just my friends can come <laughs> They have responsibilities and 100% get that but we're going to miami okay it's gonna be a hot girl summer with or without this panorama at this point i'm trying to make the best out of it and i'm trying to stop being a little bitch about everything by the way i'm like blending it <laughs> But anyways, I am uh, tired of being such a little bitch when it comes to everything. Like, I'm literally scared of, of doing so many things. And it has stopped me from doing things that I've always wanted to do, you know? Like, I've always cab about things like, oh, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. And I never end up doing it, you know? And it's just so frustrating to me because I set myself for failure. And I'm like, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. And I don't end up doing it because I'm scared. And I don't know if you guys can relate to that. But, like, especially with this pandemic going on, like, I've realized that, like, Life is super short and I don't know why I'm realizing it's so late and it's so stupid. It's something that everybody should like have in mind. Like just do whatever makes you happy. It doesn't matter if you're gonna make your mom or your parents mad. If it's gonna make you happy, do it for yourself. That's okay. Like and we're here on this earth to make life experiences and to live that. To live life. My vibe right now is just living life. Like for you to live life, you do the things that make you happy. Like you experience things that you want to experience and nobody else, you know, like you're your own person and you're supposed to experience even if you're gonna make mistakes even if older people have been there and they're warning you don't do this and you want to do it like do it for yourself you know like you learn from that that's pretty much where i'm at in life like i'm honestly super over not trying and just being comfortable with myself and not getting out of my comfort zone just because i'm scared but i'm excited anyways i'm using the rare beauty blush this is in the shade joy and i'm putting it in the back of my hand first and i'm using my sponge and i'm just tapping it it's just a very 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 pigmented blush so hi baby can i have a kiss i love you come say hi <laughs> can you close the door please for a little bit okay thank you okay so i have a helper now oh thank you baba <laughs> Anyways, he just came back from school. Like that. Do you okay. like it? Yes, thank you. You're I'm thinking he's gonna be like a makeup artist. <laughs> makeup. Okay, so I'm using the Alamar Cosmetics blush to set this blush. So I'm just tapping it. I love this blush, by the way. It's so pretty. It lasts all day on the skin. It's luminous. It's pretty. I had to close the door because if not, I'm never going to get ready, you guys. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have kids. You understand. He's crying outside. But now I'm going to take lunch money. This is a highlighter from ColourPop. And I love it because it's like a putty type of situation. It's not really powder. And it's very pretty. And I'm going to take a fan brush from Morphe. Alright, so I'm gonna take just whatever brush. This is the one that I use for my nose. And I'm just gonna do this because I just haven't been doing much eye makeup. Sometimes I like to do a pop of color. Most of the time, I do not. I'm gonna go in with the same palette, chocolate bar palette, and I'm gonna take a triple fudge color, tie line a little bit. I've always done this just because it's like a liner type of situation, but it's not as harsh. So I love that. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna line my lips. This is the Secret Admire Lip Liner by Saint Lux Beauty. And it's just a natural type of lip liner. And I like to use just a simple lip gloss. This is by Essence, I believe. I don't know. And that's it. All right, I'm gonna put some mascara. This is, I think, by Benefit. The difference that mascara makes is insane. That's what I like about this look, because... I really don't be trying when I'm doing it and I get it done super quick. First, I'm gonna spray the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. This is gonna moisturize the skin further. I take my little fan. Then I take the Make It Last Setting Spray by Milani and this is just gonna lock the makeup in place. Literally come at me with a better duo like 
It looks so natural, so fresh. Still is not gonna move, it's not, not gonna budge. It's still luminous, it's still pretty. We love, we love. And we love this. This is my favorite thing ever. Also, I wanted to show you guys my life change. This literally changed my life. I was charging the battery. I was using it in the beginning of the video and it literally died on me because I used it for like four days straight without charging it. But it has a battery and this is the light. It's so tiny, literally the size of my freaking hand. I talked about it in my Amazon's favorite. I saw an Instagram baddie talking about it and she's like, this is the only thing I use to take pictures and it completely has changed my life. So immediately got it. It's so easy to take places and take professional looking pictures with your phone and I love it. It has a little button in the back and it's just so bright. Like it's literally so bright. Like you see how I'm looking. I'm looking pretty normal and it looks so good. It looks so professional, so bright and up, so pretty. So I just want to show you guys my life change. This is the makeup. This is just gonna show it to you guys a little bit better. I have a little blemish here, but that's okay. I'm gonna do my hair and I'm gonna come back. I've shown you guys plenty of times how I do my hair. I just let it air dry a little bit. So there's less heat on the hair. And I'm gonna come back and show you guys the final results. Meanwhile, doing the hair i did a little tiktok tutorial type of situation i've never done the little braids at the front but i thought it was always super cute so i wanted to try it today and it keeps the hair out of my face it's perfect i'm feeling like myself again and that's pretty much bestie we're done it was actually super quick to do this super easy we're simple we love it we love a new look we love trying new things should we change or should we stay in black i don't know if i'm feeling black today what are we thinking black or no black i don't know i feel like i should change for something i feel like this will look super cute with hold on glasses that look like this i got these right here from shein obviously my favorite store okay i'm gonna change into something brown i'm feeling brown today i feel like every day i'm feeling brown but today i am feeling extra brown so i'm gonna be right back i'm gonna change because this is too simple for the vibe that i'm going for you know what i mean so brb please do not judge me but i came up with this cute little outfit i don't know what bag I'm feeling, I'm feeling this one. How cute is this, right? I feel like myself. I'm gonna take some cute pics. I'm excited. Okay, just in my hair. So it's a little bit foggy in here. So what do we think? Look. So I'm just wearing some regular sneakers. These are from Misguided. These pants are from Honey Bomb. This bag is from Shein. This sweater vest is from Shein. And these glasses are from Shein. All right, so I'm gonna take some pics. But thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next video. I feel like a totally different person. Obviously, we can see how bad it was. And now we're thriving, bitch. We're thriving. Before I leave, make sure you guys subscribe down below. Like this video if you guys like this transformation video if you guys want to see more videos like this comment down below how are you feeling how's april for you what's going on with you tell me okay guys <laughs> all right guys peace out oh,